Hi guys, welcome to Caternix Corner. Uh, in this video, I wanted to give you a brief behind the scenes look at some of the equipment and the gear that I use uh, when filming the uh, Caternix Corner YouTube videos. Uh, for a main camera, um, what I'm using is a Panasonic GH4. It's a micro four thirds camera that shoots at uh, 4K. Um, I have it equipped with a Lumix G 12 to 35 millimeter lens. Uh, I like that lens, it's really, uh, really sharp and fast. Um, I also have some uh, battery-powered um, portable lights that I can attach to the camera just in case I need a little bit, bit more fill light on the scene. Uh, the camera that I'm filming with now is my B-roll camera, and that is a Canon Vixia uh, HFR52, I believe it is. And that's a 1080 camera, but it does a good enough job uh, to capture the B-roll shots. Um, for audio, usually what I'll do is um, I'll mic myself up with a lav mic. I've got two or three different kinds. I've got uh, a power device, which only has a six foot cable on it. Um, and I also have some audio technicas that have a 20 foot cable on it, just in case I need to move around a little bit. But if I'm out working in the shop, a lot of times um, I'll set up a boom stand and put a shotgun mic on it. And that just gives me a little bit more freedom to move around. I don't have to worry about, you know, the mic coming unplugged or the, the lab mic pulling off or whatever. So um, those work really good. For uh, tripods, um, to be honest with you, this tripod, I don't even know what make it is. I bought it so long ago and the name kind of got rubbed off the side of it. Um, but it's a, it's a heavy duty tripod. It's supposed to have a fluid head on it, but I've taken it apart. It's not a fluid head. It's just a greased bearing head but it does the job. Uh, the other um, uh, monopod that I use for B-roll is a monopod, and uh, I'll set the camera that we're filming with now up on this, and this just allows me to get in close to you know the cages or whatever I might be working on. Um, uh, for lighting, also for lighting, I have, if I'm working in the studio, I have these, uh, a couple uh, Fovitech Studio Pro light boxes. Um, I've got one over here which is lighting this scene now. I've also got, you can see in the background, a green screen. Um, I haven't used it in a while, but if I should need it, I can, it's set up and uh, available for me. So I've got some other stuff over here on my editing desk that I want to show you, and I also want to show you my uh, computer setup and the editing setup. So let me grab the camera, I'll move over there, and we'll show you what we've got going on over there. Okay, and this little desk is my editing station. Uh, when we converted this back room into a studio, it was the only desk I had that would fit back here. Um, normally, there's two monitors at my editing station, but I just don't have the room for a second monitor on this desk, so I make do with what I've got. Um, for audio recording, I use a couple different Tascam recorders. Uh, this one is a DR70D. It's a four-channel recorder. Uh, it's got eighth-inch inputs quarter inch inputs and XLR inputs on it. Uh, that's a really nice recorder. Uh, the other recorder I use is a Tascam DR05. And I like that one because it's, it's small enough to fit into my pocket and uh, makes it easy enough to move around with that recorder on me. Um, here's a few other things on the desk here. Um, that's a, uh, one of the lav mics I use. It's the Power Dewise lav mic. And this is my uh, remote shutter release controller and I use that to control the main camera. I can start and stop the camera and also adjust focus and that's just a uh, case full of SD cards and the editing machine that I'm using is a self-built computer. It's got a Intel i7 processor in it at uh, 4 gigahertz and I've got a heat sink on it, a large heat sink on it that keeps that processor cool. And we got four gigs or 48 gigs of RAM there. And then the uh, video card is a uh, NVIDIA GTX 970 and that's got uh, four gigs of onboard memory. Uh, for storage, I've got a bunch of uh, external hard drives. I believe those are, there's two uh, two two terabytes and one terabyte drive. And then inside the machine, I have a uh, three different solid state drives. I've got two 500 gigs 
and one 250 gig down here on the bottom. Okay guys, so I hope that gave you a little bit of insight into some of the gear and the equipment that's used when producing the uh, YouTube videos for the Caternix Corner channel. Um, I know it's not a quail related video per se, but I have had a few questions over on the Facebook group page of people wanting to know what kind of equipment I use, what cameras I use and whatnot. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so. It helps me out and you'll get notified of any new and upcoming videos. Uh, stay safe guys and we'll see you on the next one.